emotions tonight boiled over in a vigil that had been cancelled. Police get back! Many felt the need to come here anyway. As police stepped in, threatening fines. You're a of COVID, OK? I've asked you to leave. Some had to be led away. Earlier today, much calmer scenes in London as the community where Sarah lived came together to reflect. Amongst the grief, there were questions being asked. When something like this actually happens, yeah. it kind of asks you, you know, what stops it from being me? What stops it from being anyone that I love? Why did you feel you had to come down here today? I mean, we're, we're just horrified. Um, I think we can all identify with her and her family. And it's just unimaginable. Do you think men have a bigger responsibility to play here? I think we all have a part to play, but yeah, I think I'm sure us as men can do a lot better to, to keep people safe. Clearly moved by recent events, the Duchess of Cambridge privately paid her respects before quickly leaving the park. There's been a steady stream of people here in Clapham Common coming to pay their respects throughout the day. Some knew Sarah Everard, many didn't. Her death has not only shocked this community, but caused a debate across the country. Many now questioning how safe is a woman walking home by herself in the evening. Vigils were cancelled across the country, but in York, a small tribute and roses in Kent with a mark of respect. This morning, arriving into court, the police officer charged with Sarah's kidnap and murder. The court heard the 33-year-old was found in a large builder's bag. She was identified using dental records. Slumped over listening, Wayne Cousins sat with a red mark on his forehead after being found in his cell with head injuries. He confirmed his identity and was remanded in custody before appearing at the Old Bailey next week.